What's going on party people? Welcome to Amusement Time with Sage, that's me, and friends. I'm so excited because we have a brand new segment today. Welcome to Monorail Happy Hour. <laughs> Now the reason this is called monorail happy hour is because we're gonna get on the monorail and go to the best places to drink at each resort that connects to the monorail. That's right, the Grand Floridian, the Polynesian, the Contemporary, and we'll end our night maybe with something fun to do at Magic Kingdom. Y'all ready? Let's go! I always love to start the Grand Floridian for my monorail happy hour. Now let me tell you why. Because I always like to start off happy hour just a little classy. And the Grand Floridian is perfect. So let's head up to Meisner's. Not only are the drinks fantastic, but there's always live entertainment. Here's a quick tip. Typically in the mornings at the Garden View Tea Room, they have the Perfectly Princess Tea Party, but when that's empty, sometimes they have a special singer come out named Miss Lorraine, and she'll come out and sing for all the guests in the lobby. It's really cool. Go check it out. We were gonna start at Meisner's. I want a glass of champagne. But Shannon wants a glass of champagne, so we're gonna go down to the Garden View Tea Room where you can get some champagne. Where earlier in the day, Prentice Tea Party usually happens, but instead, we saw Miss Lorraine. So, let's keep heading down. Turns out we're not we're not staying we're not staying at the Garden View Tea Room because Listen, a glass of boob <laughs> is six dollars cheaper in the Garden View Tea Room than you can bring it up to Meisner's. And <laughs> they're letting you walk around with it. Well, that's awfully nice. I don't think everybody gets that treatment, but Shannon does. But we did find out <laughs> while we're doing this our own created monorail happy hour that they already have it. It's called <laughs> Highway in the Sky. And oh, Highway in the Sky and Dine about 160, 170,000 a person, which it'll probably cost us more today. <laughs> no, it won't, but still. You can go to different locations and get an app and a an, 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 an wine or a drink. At well, like... Listen, if you do this, you're on someone else's schedule. So for us, we're making our own schedule today. And I guarantee we're not gonna spend $300. Anyway, that's a great option. Highway in the sky and dine. Go check it out. We'll, we'll probably try it at some point when the wedding is over and we have we money. We have an extra $300 to spare. <laughs> so we're here at Meisner's. She got her uh, champagne from downstairs, the Garden View Tea Room. Uh, it was Voob for what was it, 17 bucks? $17 for a glass. $17 for a glass, and this is a, a Manhattan up for nine bucks. So not a not a bad way to start the start the day at, at Disney, which is usually super expensive. So we'll see how expensive the day gets. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, we're at the Magic Kingdom right now, but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna pass the Magic Kingdom. We're gonna we're gonna pass the Contemporary, and then we're gonna go all the way to the Polynesian, so we can go to Trader Sam's. We've never been there before. Please okay. stand clear of the doors. So thanks to Trader Sam's. Please stand clear of the doors. Uh, if you look at the decor, like new passengers, we welcome you. They have some cool. Uh, if you look at the. Gentlemen, if you're standing above the silver hair, do not lean up against the Darth those, Vader. <laughs> those weren't words. Do you remember the old tiki room with that like enchanted tiki god? She's literally on display there as decor. Who chose this route? That's my question. Who chose this route? Who chose to start at the Grand Floridian? Go all the way to po Polynesian, which is like three stops away, and then go to the Contemporary, which is like two more stops away, and then walk to the Magic Kingdom. That's a fun question. If you could build a Disney in yeah, like anywhere else, where would it be? I mean, because I work at Disney and because I love theater, yeah. my life would sure be a lot easier if there was a Disney World like right outside of Manhattan. I know it's close, but like I would love if there was a Disney World like South Florida because I really want to live on the ocean. I mean, you, you want a Disney World near the beach, that's what you want. Made it. We finally made it. After a small trip on the monorail, let's go find Trader Sam's. I don't think I have either. This is crazy, right? Ah, oh, it's so pretty. I don't think I've really ever like really looked around in here. We should stay here sometime. Yeah. Dough whips. With rum here? Oh, no. It's a fun little uh, pool area. It's so funny because we're so we're set like why we we always go to, straight to the parks, but we never we never resort hop, and now I'm thinking that we should do that more often. <laughs> 4 p.m. It's not open yet. Should have told my homework. We'll be back. <laughs> Here's a fun question, everyone. Uh, what happens when you mess up? schedule and you don't know what to do for an hour and a half what 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 do you do well since we have an hour and a half to kill we don't really want to leave so uh, we're gonna pop a squad at this bar and see what's going on Right, we are in line. Trader Sam's. Hi. <laughs> so every time you order a new drink, they uh, they have an act that they do. But really, be careful about the drink you order. How are you? Good. How are you guys doing? Good. Welcome, welcome. Thanks. How do we get the hippos out of the trees, everyone? Two shots of rum! Alright, that was everyone's practice round. You're expected to participate. Oh, babe. Oh, 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 oh,
some. <laughs> so when we were when we were talking earlier, she was much taller. <laughs> She's gotten so much smaller. Just don't let them talk down. <laughs> I will not. That's brilliant. Oh my God, Skipper Benjamin is killing it today. Your chair got short. Oh my God. Swim, all you guys back in there too cool. Swim, swim. Let's look on space! Water! Yay! That was an unreal amount of fun. That's super cute. Uh, I was nervous when I went in. I was I thought it was gonna be like a, like another like rainforest cafe. But it was so cool, it was interactive, the servers were hilarious. So the skipper we had uh, the skipper we had, Skipper Benjamin. He's, oh, he fun. he's fun. He's fun. fun. Huge shout out to Skipper Benjamin. He's hilarious. <laughs> if you uh, see him, make sure he's your bartender. So much fun. I would uh, say, if you go there, it's more fun to sit at the bar. If you're there with just like, if there's just like two people and you can sit at the bar, it's definitely a more personalized experience. <laughs> And certainly not least, welcome to the Outer Rim, which is a, uh, a, a what I call a grab and go at the contemporary. What we do is we like to grab a quick drink and then walk over to Magic Kingdom for fireworks at the end of the night. Here we go. People always talk about how resort hopping is underrated, and I always thought it was overrated. I was like, I don't need to go resort hopping. I'd rather go to a park, ride some rides, see some shows. Today has been such an eye opener for me that I really believe that like it's like I kind of want to go to like. Fort Wilderness Lodge, which everybody talks about. I, I want to go do Animal Kingdom Lodge. So but what you do is you go to the Outer Rim, you grab a drink to go, and you walk <laughs> to the Magic Kingdom. Um, obviously, you have to drink your drink before you get to security, but it, it's because it's a little bit of a walk. It's great to have your drink. It's perfect. It's been a great day, though. It's been a great day. It's been a great day. It, it has given me faith about resort hopping. It has rekindled our relationship. <laughs> <because> <laughs> We were so great day. we were so close to calling off the engagement, and we, you know, over a couple drinks, we said, "Let's do it. Uh, let's head to the Magic Kingdom." Woo! After our monorail happy hour, we had to finish our conquest on the monorail and we had to do one ride at Magic Kingdom. I was lucky enough to grab two fast passes for Space Mountain. So let's go! We're gonna take our first selfie in front of the purple wall. No more pictures, we gotta go!
other conditions that could be. Be sure to supervise children at all times. And remember that passengers in wheelchairs must transfer into a rocket to participate in this launch. They are like high speed turbulent roller coaster type ride in the dark that includes sharp turns. Make sure to follow Amusement Time with Sage and Friends. All right, Space Mountain. It's been at least a year since either of us have ridden it. So uh, here we go. Woo! Y'all ready? Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! All right, here we go! Woo! Woo! I know. Ah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yes. What? This is oh insane. <laughs> What a great end to Monorail Happy Hour. We ended here at Magic Kingdom on the uh, on Space Mountain. Gosh, that that ride was so much more fun than I remember. I think it was more fun because you had Monorail Happy Hour before you went on it. You're so right. By the way, if you liked what you saw, make sure to subscribe because if you like hanging out with us at Disney, the only way for that to keep happening is if you subscribe. So uh, much love, thank you so much. Hope you had a great time. Can't wait for the next happy hour. It's not gonna be on the monorail, but it's gonna be somewhere else at Disney or Universal or at another amusement park. Keep laughing, and as always, stay amusing. Woo!